Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the American Heritage Stage. We're having a special concert this afternoon, and our headline performer is going to be Gary Forney and his son, Josh. And now I'd like to introduce Gary and Josh. Future rock star Gary Richard Forney was born the first minute of February 12, 1953 in Old Wine, Iowa, a small German railroad center. Gary would eventually be the exact center child of seven children born to Lawrence and Marietta Forney. He would have three brothers and three sisters. Three of his siblings would be older than Gary and three would be younger. Gary's mother, Marietta, had at one time taken art lessons. She had also played accordion. Gary's father had been a CB in the Navy during World War II and used military boot camp methods to raise his children. To make raising seven children easier for Gary's parents, the children were divided into two groups. The two groups consisted of the three older children as one group and the three youngest children as the second group. Gary, being the exact center child, was not a part of either group. The boot camp military upbringing, combined with the dividing of his family, left Gary with feelings of alienation and rebellion that lasted throughout his life. The only real entertainment that Gary remembered at home during his formative years was from 78 RPM Records. The records were many of the early Sun record artists such as Carl Perkins, Johnny Cash, and Jerry Lee Lewis. During his early years, Gary's family attended what Gary described as a Southern Baptist Church where Gary was exposed to gospel spirituals such as Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, Let My People Go, and These Bones Gonna Rise Again. Gary was sent to public school in Old Wine. He attended a small four-room elementary school simply named Southside during grades one through four. It was while attending Southside that Gary reportedly fell in love with music. Gary related being exposed to folk music and western cowboy songs at Southside. Songs such as The Streets of Laredo, Home on the Range, and Old Dan Tucker. During his early teen years, Gary remembered his sisters playing pop teen idol music. Such artists as Elvis, Fabian, and Gene Pitney. Gary attended junior high school during the English invasion of the early 60s. His vocal music class would sing many of the popular hits of the day, including songs by the early Beatles. It was also early on in junior high when tests revealed Gary had a genius level IQ. Gary's parents were furious. It was their reasoning that if one child stood out, it would make the other children feel bad and destroy family unity. Gary was once again an outcast within his own family. Although he would be an honor student throughout his school years, Gary was made to be ashamed of his academic achievements and would throw away his report cards throughout his school years. Then, during his high school years in Old Wine, Gary rebelled against his upbringing, grew his hair long, and discovered The Doors and other psychedelic blues bands. Gary formed his first band, The Scream of the Butterfly, during his final year at Old Wine High. Gary described Scream as an amateur punk band crossed between The Doors and ACDC. The band played the high school and almost recorded a 45 for a small local label before breaking up. Gary moved midway through his senior year from Old Wine to Waterloo, Iowa, where he graduated from East High School in the upper 10% of his class. After graduation, Gary spent the summer on a voyage of self-discovery, experiencing the usual ups and downs of being on one's own. Gary eventually settled into working for a living. While working as a machine operator for a plastics plant, Gary met, fell in love with, and married Bonnie Jean Hazlett in 1975. They had three children together. Gary went to the University of Northern Iowa in the early 80s. From the early 70s until reawakening in the early 90s, Gary's musical aspirations were buried by factory work, family, and life's hardships. The music was waiting to be born. 